Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Stellaris. Last time, we took out both the uh, Stellar Devourer and the Scrapper Bot. The Scrapper Bot gave us the technology. Gave us the technology for Nano Hull. Was that what it was? Um, Nanite Repair System. So yeah, essentially Nanite Hull. Uh, the only problem is I would actually have to come out here and take on these guys in order to get some nanites. Now, if we weren't so close to the end of the game, I might. <laughs> However, we are... Yeah. Look at that. 32 years from winning. 32 years. All right, well, we're going to come down here, and we're going to take on the Ether Drake. Uh, okay, you're already here. Can you actually make it to that system? Maybe. Jump here. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you there as well? You are. Jump here. I hope they're all here. And not super lagging, but they are excellent. That's a nice chunk of time off. Um, our construction ship isn't here yet. As soon as he gets here, I can jump him over to Wymos. And then same with the science, with the science ship. I think I'm going to tell them to fly here, then jump, then fly here. Uh, I guess I could do that with the... Alright, let's go jump here. And then move there. I think that'll be okay. I guess we'll find out. Come on. <laughs> it's like, unpause, please. Okay, so... Can I get you to jump here? Good. So the shift jump didn't work, which means that I have to actually pay attention when I want to do those shortcut jumps, which is fine. It is what it is, but uh, yeah. Okay, so when you're done. System survey concluded. Okay, just move here. Actually, for him, it might be faster to go to mascot and then tunnel our way over here. It might be. Probably not. Actually, probably not. I didn't even think about that. Why are we down to 11? Oh. We must be missing some production somewhere. Look at our armies. Yes. Well, there they're all done. <laughs> we just came down here to look at them. So many armies. Merge. And let's get you... Uh... Uh, let's get you to come... Here. Yeah. I think that'll be good. And then the science ship. Oh, you already moved up there. Eh. Let's get you to jump here. I want to take out these, uh, the enigmatic energy as well. I don't know if it gives us anything, but I want to take it out. But I want the dragon horde. Research concluded. Even though I'm not going to uh, <laughs> settle anything there, I want the horde. Okay. Uh, what did we just finish? Of course, it goes away as soon as you click on it. We just finished something. Building cost, I think. Seriously, building cost only goes to five? 
but these go much further. Okay. Uh, how about weapon attack speed? How about that? Hey, look at that. 3K just by adding three of them? Wow. We must have been close to 3K. Completed. Construction of a starbase around Nugon. Oh, that's these guys. Okay, so I need you to mining and research. I need you to mining. And I need you to go faster. Please. Yeah, look at this. We're about to give all of this to the Messianic Union. To our Messianic Union, for that matter. Why am I holding on to these two? That was because I was trying to take these eventually, right? There's no actual... Oh, nope, there is actual stuff there. Okay. That would explain some stuff. Okay. Uh, in here... Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just waiting on the fleets to get into place. <laughs> and over here, we're waiting on the transport fleet to get into place. <laughs> what? Did I get you to jump down here? <laughs> now all of our Research armies have to concluded. fly all the way around. All right, there's extra army damage. Uh, let's grab army health. Now that we're having to pull our armies out of mothballs. That seems like a decent idea. Okay, transport. Actually, you know what? Let's put you here. That way you're at a station. You know, I don't think it's negative a thousand because I'm in a federation. I think it's negative a thousand because they're in a federation. I just had this thought. So, when we normally go to um, offer subsidiary status, it says negative 1,000 in Federation. I don't think that's because we're in a Federation. I think that's because they're in a Federation. So, like, if I ask these guys, which I highly doubt I can because it's just that, uh... They're the only ones besides, like, the Rockstar Guardians and the Polismus di Directors that aren't in Federations. I don't think these guys are in a Federation. Are you? Nope. You just kind of hate everybody. You're inferior to us, though. <laughs> um, I think it's because they're in a Federation and not us. Which, ironically, makes quite a bit of sense. Okay. You know, I'm going to help the transport fleets on their way. As I can when I see them. Anyway. Just be easier that way. There's only three left. Okay, never mind. There's one left. Because you just... Can you not jump down here? And you still need to make it down here. Okay, 4K. <laughs> yes. Alright, let's let you join up with the fleets. Yeah, we've got some stragglers coming in. A couple carry or a couple uh, cruisers, <laughs> whatever those ships are called. Okay, the armies are in position. We or will be. Hailed. Well, hello. Uh, you're gonna give me twenty-five thousand energy credits. 
Thank you. You know what I'm going to do with that? Uh, we are going to... Well, that, those incomes are fine. Let's buy some consumer goods. Add new monthly trade. Trade type not selected. Buy. Consumer goods. Oh, I don't know. Um... Why 150? Let's see what that costs. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe 50 then? <laughs> Instead of 150? Wow. I could just produce more, but to do that, I would need another arcology. Um. Okay, so we're ready to go, except for the science ship, but it's right there. Let's go get the Stellar Drake, or the Ether Drake. Uh yeah, you just yeah, you'll close your borders again soon enough. All right, come on, boys. Let's go fight. Is it 9 or 10? It was 10. How come my computer says it's 9? Shouldn't it automatically change? <laughs> uh, I'm recording on the Sunday in the U.S. where uh, time jumps forward for spring. I hate this day. Uh, I hate that the falls back as well because it messes with my YouTube schedule. It messes with everything. Um... So, yeah, stuff got released when it wasn't supposed to. Uh, the creature observed in the Grekeli system is unlike anything the Voidwings have previously encountered. Highly aggressive when destructive capabilities to match. Yep, there's the Dragon Sword, by the way. Here we go. That was him firing at us, I believe. He doesn't have any missiles either. Here we go. Now we're getting in range. Although, for whatever reason, we're doing armor damage. Is that our point defense beams doing that much armor damage? Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy how much damage that's doing. Look at the armor just melt. <laughs> We are winning. I love how this isn't moving at all. Oh, it's because it doesn't know. Look at our hull points. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Mr. Ether Drake. It was nice knowing you. The formidable Ether Drake has been slain. The exceptional bravery of Admiral Danal and the Void Wings could not will not soon be forgotten. The planetoid the beast guarded so jealously can now be safely exploited. Who knows what treasure it might have created. Denal now has the Dragon Slayer trait. We can add a Dragon Slayer monument to the library. Or did we add one to the library? Is it did we or can we? I think we can. Replace this with the Dragon something. Where is it? Really? Um. Okay. That's interesting. So, we now want to... Um, survey. Get you in here as well. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's because we have other things that need to be done. Can I just get you guys to jump here? Haha. <laughs> Excellent. The maelstrom I probably won't care about. Construction completed. 
Looks like we get to go save some planets here soon. You're done. You're about to be done. So the two of you... Um... Yeah. The Wraith? Aw, oh, man! At least there's a wormhole here. And a gate. Okay, cool. So we can get there real quick as well. Uh, the only problem is going to be getting back here. Bah. I don't know if I can enter. I, I can currently enter their space. Well, I could also just jump straight in, into the Shula. Okay. It's fine. I don't know. I think I'm going to disband you guys. Because I have no, no further need of you. The Interstellar Assembly Console Ring. You still look the same. The second stage of the Interstellar Assembly, the Console Ring, is now complete. The Inner Circle will house most of our diplomatic staff going forward. So what exactly do you do? Embassies and conference calls. Okay, how long is that going to take? 720 days, and it adds this extra ring. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay. So you guys are in position and ready to go. A migration treaty from the Xeracon Empire. Uh, who are you and where are you? You're this little tiny planet. You're way over here in the middle of nowhere. Um, no. Sorry. Not this late in the game. Not with only 30 years left. You know, we're just going to take these guys and just dive right in. Okay. Uh, while they're going in. Well, I guess it's not a while they're going in, but... I didn't destroy any more Corvettes. Dang. None of our Corvettes are dying. Our larger ships are starting to die. Okay. Spectre. Construction completed. I'm trying to search for anything that might be left. Ruby swarms. That's the feral Prithorian. That's a pirate fleet. Looks like this is the only one that's left. Cool. Okay. Uh, the only problem is that we Anomalous have to fly all the way back registered. up. Sensors are reporting a number of possible points of interest within the dense debris fields surrounding Grekeli 2. Uh, we're going to leave that be for now. Let's do it after. I was holding shift for that, by the way. You are now done. Build me mining stations. Okay. Uh, how many... Looks like you have one survey left to do. Look at the dragon's horde. Woof. System survey concluded. Okay. Take the system. God, that was a lot of influence. Holy cow. That was 600 influence that we just ate. And we completely missed the fight here. <laughs> All right. How long is it going to take you to go here? 773 days. However, as soon as you jump once... I can shave off most shave off most of that time. Cuz most of that time is this bouncing around that happens. Come on, make one jump for me. Okay, make two jumps for me. I need them to go to Karenus. That is just crazy.
42 years and three days. A closer scan of the debris field has led the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. 42 years is going to be after we win. It has a frequency uncertainly uncertainty so low that it will be another so couple of million years before it gains a second, and it is counting down to a date 42 years and three days away. The capsule holds no clues as to what the date signifies or to who the owners are. Um, sure, why not? We'll keep an eye on it. Let's take the science ship and survey, but you're going to jump to get down there. Um, jump down here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you guys jump. Hold the right keys. Okay, that should have taken off a lot of time. Oh, we're preparing to jump in 10 days. Yeah, that took off almost 600 days. Excellent. So they'll jump uh, to here. Construction completed. Then use the Elgate network to come up. Well, let's go up and then come here. Then they'll do one jump and take the wormhole down here. Yeah. And then we can take out the specter. And then... Where does this wormhole go? System survey concluded. Okay. Ah, uh, that's actually not... Hmm. So we're gonna fly in, possibly jump in, and then I believe I can just jump to here and take that back over. I don't know. The fact that there's no gates down here is kind of annoying. Construction completed. I think we may have to come up here and push our way down instead of push our way up like I was originally planning. But who knows? We'll have to see. Okay, you're done. Goodbye. You are no longer useful. Ah, uh, you, on the other hand... <laughs> uh, okay, we need fair again. I remember that. Uh, looks like Productus is slightly better. Okay, so you... Um, assist research. Now, what shortcuts can we take? There's currently a shortcut, I believe, to here. Nope. Okay. Uh, take the shortcut then to here. Hey. You. Can you seriously not jump for another 79 days? Oh, okay. <laughs> that explains a few more things. Research concluded. Ooh. We got strike craft damage. Excellent. Uh what next? And equipment explosive yield. Let's go with Uh you know we haven't done any of the explosives yet and we are slinging some missiles. Not many. But some. So let's do that. The science ship, as soon as it can, I'm going to have it jump. Just because otherwise it takes far too long to do anything. Thirty-eight days. I wish I could tell you as soon as you're ready, jump to this system. Or as soon as you're within range, jump to this system. It would make queuing up some stuff a little bit easier. 12. Yeah, I'll be able to jump all the way there now. 3, 2, 1. Jump here. Take off something like 600 days. <laughs> okay. And actually... I need you to come here. Which means you're still going to jump to that system. 
and you guys are going to just fly in. Cool. However, that's going to have to wait for the next episode because we are out of time. So I hope you folks enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there. <laughs>